Hey, what is going on guys? So you have your Samsung Galaxy S10 here. I'm going to show you how to insert the SIM card as well as the SD card. I'm also going to show you how to confirm that your, that your SD card is actually reading on your phone. And I'm also going to show you how to be able to take photos and videos and save it directly to your SD card opposed to the internal memory on the phone. So the first thing we're going to do is take out the SIM tray here. Go ahead and grab your SIM ejection tool. If you don't have this, you can use like a thin paper clip or even like a thin earring stud will work as well. So basically look on the top here. You can see that little hole right there where the tray is. Go ahead and pop the pin in there. Give it a little bit of pressure in there until it pops out. Just like that. Now go ahead and grab your fingers and whip that tray out. And then if we take a closer look here, we can see it says right here, micro SD for the SD card. And over here says SIM. So let's insert the SD card first. With these Samsung phones, honestly, the Samsung SD cards work the best. Anyways, I only have a 32 gigger here. We want to go ahead and line it up, put it in place. And so just place it on top perfectly just like that. And then go ahead and press in to hear that like little snap. And then it shouldn't fall out. Next is the SD card. We can see that little slit on the top left hand corner there. So go ahead and measure that up to your SIM card. I can see the slit here on the top left on my SIM card. So I'm gonna go ahead and place this right on top of here. And I'm gonna push it into a little snap. Just like that. And now we're good to go. This is inserted properly. Let's go ahead and put this in. Slide the tray right back in. Make sure you push all the way down like that. So now let me go ahead and log in here and it should find my SIM card. Okay, so I found my SIM card here. It says service provider update. Your device will restart to configure features supported by the new SIM card. So I'm gonna go ahead and press on okay. Go ahead and let this restart. Okay, so it looks like my SIM card is working on here. You can also confirm if you just go ahead and scroll down, go into your settings right here and then tap on connections. And then you want to go down to where it says mobile networks, tap on that. And then mine says, yeah, you can see my network mode, LTE, 3G, 2G, that is up. And my service provider or network provider down here is T-Mobile. So everything is set up for me with the SIM card. All right. So the next thing, let's make sure that the SD card registered. So what you want to do is go ahead and the top middle slide down. And then from here, tap on that gear icon, the settings icon right there and then we're going to go down to device care tap on device care and then from here we tap on storage and from here i know that my sd card is registered because it shows up down here now the thing is if it doesn't say sd card down here then there's something wrong with your sd card anyways we can see the uh, max size of the sd card and we can see how much you used of that and i do have some videos and photos on here now let me show you how to go into the camera and be able to take photos and videos and save it directly onto your sd card instead of the internal memory so go ahead and open up your camera. A shortcut is to double press the power button. And then from here on the top left hand side, we can see that gear, that settings icon. Go ahead and tap on that. And then from here, we want to scroll down and we want to look for storage location. The thing is, if your SD card is not reading, you're not going to have this option. Anyway, mine says storage location. Right now it's on internal storage. Let me tap on that. And now I can move everything to SD card. So now every time I take a photo or a video, it's going to save directly to my SD card. Anyways, I hope that helped you guys out. Guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.